Oh my gosh, dude. Not a smooth ride. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. Mmm. There's a life jacket in this root ball, dude. Oh no. Hang in there, Blue Betty. Better days are coming. Yes! Get on there, man. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I am currently standing in a 20-year-old abandoned boat. Now, it's, it's even older than 20 years, but it has not moved from this spot for the past 20 years. There's trees growing in the whole of this boat. We got some nice oak, a couple pines. There's literally a foot of dirt that's just accumulated over the years as it's sat here picking up leaves, being hit by trees right here on the side of the hole. There are so many things going on in this boat you can't even really take this thing in while it's sitting right here at one point i'm sure this boat ran like a champ it's got a big inboard outboard motor in the back the key's still in the ignition so fingers crossed unfortunately this thing has sat here for 20 years and just gone to crap never in my life have I seen trees growing in the hole of a boat? Just not really a place for trees to grow. There's no telling how many snakes, spiders, critters, things you don't want to touch your body that we're gonna come across in today's video. This thing is insane. It just looks like a horror movie in the making. Now, to most people, they wouldn't pass this boat and think that could be a keeper. That's the one right there. Let me take that on back home. But to me, it looks like the ultimate summer project we're about to try to pull this thing out without the trailer going to crap. And hopefully we can completely change this boat around to at least a point where we can go fish on it. With that said, let's pull this thing out and do what we can. Ah. I'm genuinely scared that soon as we hook this thing up, the trailer is just gonna fall apart. I don't know if I've told you guys, but my truck is definitely two wheel drive. Just gonna grip and throw me into it. <laughs> Not happening. That wasn't, that wasn't it. Attempt number one, track. There's so many little fresh pine trees. It's just like driving on a little ice skating rink. Why is it sliding like a little pansy? The thing is, I'm sliding right there without the boat. When I get the boat, what's gonna happen? So close. How close? Like 10 inches. 10 inches? Son of a biscuit. Close. Thing is, the trailer doesn't work either. We are literally, I mean, that's 10 inches at that. It's, it's one of my hands one hand from the old trailer and obviously this old jack right here it's it's completely locked there's nothing going on there we're not going to be able to move this thing by hand this is an absolute unit <laughs> we're going to make it happen though i think we're going to be able to pull out like the spare tire jack from my truck jack up the front of the boat put it on the truck good gracious man this is turning into a struggle oh gosh I feel like this could either be really a smart idea or a terrible idea. The good news is it only needs to be jacked up about an inch. You gotta want it. Well. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure about stability, but then again, I've never been the most stable. Oh. It's gonna be a quarter of an inch if it doesn't. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, dude, we made it by a quarter of an inch. Yes. Breathing that exhaust, Mom. That's a beautiful sight. Watch it, bud. So, the front wheel of the trailer 
is three inches deep into the ground, preventing the trailer from fully attaching itself to the hitch. It's working. I need this to work. I need this bad. We have movement. Oh, it's moving. It's a lot of sliding. Oh, it's coming, dude. It's gonna come. It has finally come out of the hole that it was sitting in for the past 20 years. This boat has been jammed down in this little hole and I thought it was deeper, but it just turns out these wheels are as crusty as my last YouTube channel. So I was planning on coming out of this taking a left the entire time i was just pulling the boat my wheels were cut straight left and i was going straight i don't know if that's because i'm sliding on the grass or i broke my axle but we'll figure it out all right you ready three two here goes nothing oh get out of there buddy come on get out of there please come out of there Oh, it's coming. Come on, buddy. Don't. Oh, we made it. We almost hit that tree. That was so close. Oh my gosh, I'm pulling a boat full of trees, snakes, and heaven knows what. It sounded 95 when I said that. Oh my gosh. It is straight rim on ground. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. It is not a smooth ride. Ten cents? I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping. Okay, we made it. Yes! The blue petty, man. Not gonna lie, I was extremely discouraged. I thought we lost the prop and the motor multiple times on that trip over here. Oh my gosh. Now that we got the floating greenhouse to my parents' backyard, we're gonna be able to kind of break this down for you, kind of let you know the ins and outs of this boat. I just saw that the last time this thing was registered was in 1986. Meaning the last time this puppy was in legal use was 35 years ago. That is so crazy. Starting at the front of this bad boy, we have a small yet powerful little trolling motor with a foot pedal. Now, if you can imagine without these trees and all the pine straw and dirt, there was a little post seat that went right here, right next to a live well. Maybe one of these was like a tackle area. I'm not really sure. I'm hoping that as we kind of remove some of this trash and stuff, we're going to find some more tackle compartments and maybe other storage areas inside of this thing. The most thick tree area, if we can kind of remove it, there's briars in there. Frickin' A. Oh, gosh. If you can imagine, you would sit on this live well right here with a seat on top of it and just cruise steering this bad boy. And finally, my favorite part of this boat, the muscle, the Merc Cruiser inboard outboard. Dude, that is a thick prop. I'm not quite sure how these motors compare to an outboard like 250 or 150. With this big of a motor on the back of a boat this size, this puppy could scoot, dude. The bus in Blue Betty. And one of the weirdest, like most cool parts to this boat, in my opinion, on top of this little engine hub, there's this 
like barber chair pretty much. I just broke it again. But this thing has definitely seen better days. I imagine when this puppy was just kicking up water, having that rooster tail, the wind hitting you in the face. If you could sit up on here, I imagine there's not a freer place on the planet. Now the mission of today is not only to get this boat dislodged, but also to get all the trees, the dirt, everything that's accumulated in there after being exposed to the outdoor elements for the past 20 plus years. And then we'll be able to kind of assess where we are with this boat. I'm not really good at fiberglass repair or fiberglass work. I only know a few people. Oh my Lord. Well, folks, this is not really working out. I'm, I'm plowing up my parents' backyard. My truck is just skidding down the grass. Also, your boy's got a fat case of COVID right now, so excuse my vocal cords. But yes, yeah, step number one of this entire restoration process, we need to start just pulling these trees out. I know their roots can't be super deep. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at there. Oh, there's no telling what we're gonna find in this thing. Baby, those roots are deep. What were those roots in, dude? Is there that much dirt or is this hole screwed? We're gonna set all potential essentials or pieces to the boat that we wanna keep in this pile right here. Oh man, the trolling motor battery is no longer functional. What do we have here? Oh, baby. Oh, rip. Oh no, hope this thing doesn't explode. Let's go ahead and drop it harshly. Okay, so far so good. There's not really that bad of damage to the ground of this boat, man. Oh. <coughs> now we'll be able to use that again. I don't know if what I'm seeing right here is a tree or if it's just a, a limb that fell. That's a tree that has grown directly in the hole of the boat. That's not a good sign. Here's the thing is underneath the boat, I'm not really seeing a lot of signs of a tree coming out. Or maybe I'm just too optimistic. Directly under where the tree was, there, there's no sign of a tree busting through the hole of the boat. So what I'm hoping is soil has just filled this boat to the brim. These roots have just kind of went out instead of through. Oh man, I'm just waiting to to peel back and find something horrendous. Spare tire. There's a family of cockroaches. Woo, gotta love it. Oh God. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Not my family's house, son. Yep, yep, you're not welcome. Here comes Big Daddy. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Ah. Ah. So apparently there was some sort of bag in there and it is not helping me pull this out. Also, I'm connected to all the wiring of the boat. Matter of fact, this could be the flooring, like the carpet or something, and I'm just pulling out everything. Even after we pulled that tree out, I still am not seeing the floor. Unless it was carpet and this is just so stained, we're not able to tell yet. An old light for the back of the boat. A little late night cruise. I wonder if this was like an old tackle box or something. Dude, we might find some lures in here that are old, man. Get the frick out of there, son. Got one wire. 
disconnected from this root ball. Wow. That tree is like 15 foot tall, dude. It was growing inside of a boat. That's crazy. Wearing a white shirt today was a definite good call. Mmm, there's a life jacket in this root ball, dude. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's disgusting, man. There's probably a freaking family reunion of black widows in there. That's so gross. There's just cockroaches down there. This was the freaking love cruise of cockroaches. The amount of love that was made in this boat from cockroaches is just astounding. Let's get some freaking shovels in the mix. The upper deck is pretty much good. I haven't really looked inside of this live well and I'm honestly scared to. Oh gosh. Honestly, it's not bad. Thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I mean, I'm just used to all these cockroaches now. I've named like 30 of them. Jimmy, Eddie, Tommy, Eddie the second, Eddie the third, Eddie the fourth. We're all just chilling. <coughs> Whew. I don't know if I'm feeling COVID or that eight pack of Cheetos ate last night. <laughs> This is when stuff gets real, man. The one thing I'm not liking is I can feel how rotten the pieces of wood under here stabilizing these platforms are. Not a good feeling underneath your feet. Hey, this could be important. The plug to the boat. Knew we would find something we actually needed for this thing to float. So far we got a plug and a buoy, but I'm not complaining, baby. The front half of the boat's looking half decent. Now we just have this massive pile of trash to deal with. What is this? Oh, we got an old ratchet strap. Little update for you. Front of the boat looking decent. Not feeling great about the stability underneath this platform, but at least we can see the platform. Moving to the back of the boat, we've uncovered another live well that I think also flops as a seat as well. We've also uncovered where this tree's root system is going. It sprouts out to the right, and I believe it goes the entire length of the boat, which I have no idea how we're gonna be able to pull this thing out. Step number one has been completed on the restoration process of this beautiful Monarch boat. It is slowly turning into what actually looks like a boat instead of just like a floating garden or something. I could see me just propped up on that live well slash chair. Full throttle, little Davy gravy in the front with this just luxurious, luxurious little Davy gravy locks flopping in the wind. If we can fix this boat up, overcome some COVID, we might be doing all right. I would like to pressure wash everything out so we can get a good look at this boat and get some plans for restoring this bad boy back to its natural state of just a sally whacking machine. better already dude. Yeah baby. Get in there. It's so stained it's barely even working. So much bluer, dude.
discovered this kind of pretty blue carpet in there, man. This boat is gonna be so sick. I am an absolute filthy animal at the moment. But the new whip is looking good. Now, I'm, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I have no experience with an inboard slash outboard motor. Oh gosh. I don't know why, but this thing is so much more intimidating than any other motor I've really worked with before. The inboard outboard motor reminds me of just like a freaking car engine in the boat. You look at this thing and it, it just makes you feel real small, real small inside. The good news is I think it sat shut for the past 30 years, so it did have somewhat of a rain shield. My main fear, the one thing I know you have to be careful with when it comes to boat motors is if you leave any of the cooling factors in the motor, which is just water, and it freezes and busts the pipes, that can make this whole project go up thousands. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm, I think I'm just a little amped to have my hands finally on a boat. I need to settle down, not be so emotional, and just look at this boat for what it is. It's kind of a piece of junk right now. Not gonna lie, I know that. But before I sink all my money in to this bad boy, I would like to water test it. I wanna take this bad girl right here to the best backyard pond I know, AKA the most famous one. So I can add a little bit of clout to this video, if you know what I'm saying. To which you might be thinking, how in the heck are you gonna drive this boat on this trailer down to Lojo's house? And the short answer to that is, I'm not. Shout out to Daryl for letting me borrow his trailer. Is it moving at all? Here goes nothing. I got my dad's dually. My truck did not have what it took. Come on, get over that hump. Get over it. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Keep going. It's rolling. Hey, wait, wait, wait. That's not what you want to see in your hole. Nice. There with the umbrella. Man, it was so close. Yes. Bring on the rain. I love it. Yes. Rain harder. And also this rope holding the boat completely snapped. So let's strap that first. Three, two. We feeling that tomorrow. That might have been exactly what we needed to never walk again. All right, can't take no for an answer. We don't have time to fail right now, folks. The boat trailer is actually way too big to fit onto this. It also is built the wrong way. So we're gonna have to find a way to get these ants out of my bung. Frick me. All right. You good? How you like that? How you like it? Yeah. D <coughs> Come off of there. Yeah. Sit on down. There we go. There we go. Boom. One thing went right for us. Thank you, Lord. Ah. fiberglass in my lungs. Ugh. Hang in there, Blue Betty. 
Better days are coming. Oh gosh. Hey! It's making some vivid marks. Some hay we we were here. That'll buff. Please nobody drive by. Please nobody drive by. I mean it would be great content. Locked in the pen for restoring a boat. Well, uh, this is uh not going as planned. Back it up, Terry. Back it up. On you, Dad. Come on. Oh, get on there. Get on there. Stop. Yeah, you're under it. I gotta get the trailer open. Huh? It's happening, boys. Not yet. The back needs about three inches. More, more, more. Close enough. All right, that's all you got back there. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Wait. Come on. Get on there. Wait, what? What? Come on. You need to look right in here. Is there something catching? I, it's just the boat itself. If you can lift it higher. Try it now. Yes, yes, get on there, man. Perfect. Crazy. Thank you, Dad. That's crazy. I can't believe it worked. I lost my drive shaft and my transmission, but it worked. Boom, dude. Look at this, this glorious, glorious boat. I don't have a voice, I don't need a voice. I got my dad to lift up the boat and we took off the back. This dirt fell off the tractor, so Daryl's trailer is still in good standing. That's kind of like my biggest focus right now. Compared to Daryl's trailer, this boat is a piece of junk. And if you know anything about me and Lojo's neighbor, Daryl, we have a we have a one of a kind relationship. Now it is time for us to strap this boat into the best of our ability. My biggest fear, is that something's gonna catch and just yeet into a car behind me. This is gonna be a tight one, folks. It's time to load everything up, make our way down to Lojo's, and hopefully nobody gets injured in the process and both the trailer and my truck still run after we're done with this little trip. Frick me, dude. Frick me. All right, man. Nice. Lojo, you don't know what it's taken me to get here today. No? No, you don't. But I want, I want you to see what my hard labor has <laughs> finally brought to the property. Okay. Go ahead and turn around, man. Oh, my God. I, you've seen it as I pulled up, but I want you to get up in there, man. Oh, God. What is this, a 1976 Monarch? Yeah, it probably is. Dude, it, the last time it was footer? registered is 1986. I saw that. Dude, that's, that's, this boat is literally older than me. That's crazy. I was born the year after this thing was last registered. Oh my God. That's how long it's been sitting in the woods, I'm guessing? Yeah, that's how long it has it moved from the spot I pulled it out of. Got some structural damage here, Badge. I don't know, man. This is looking, looking a little sus right here. Yeah. This well, little shark winch right here, whatever this was. We're known for being sus. But they had a, there was there, oh, there's a trolling motor on it. Oh yeah. I didn't even realize. She comes preloaded, man. Did you man. see if like the, the foot pedal and everything would still move it? 
No, but what I did find that I was extremely shocked by, okay, you stand right here. Hold the camera. Oh for my me. God. Yeah, look at that look big at old that motor. Cruiser. Oh God, you're gonna crank her up? Is it moving? Oh my God, it still turns. It, it freaking turns, dude. No freaking way. Isn't that weird? Things have been sitting in the woods for 30 years. Uh, it gives me hope that there could be potential. Now we just beat this thing to heck and back, man. Yeah, I'm sure your people have already seen by now what you've gone through just to get this thing on a trailer. This thing's about what, 18, 19 feet? Probably. Dude, just imagine though, like this is a live well, this is a live well, this is a live well, and then you would have all that for storage. It's kind of a, it's kind of a cool looking little boat. Yeah, honestly. man. It's real like, it's long and thin but it's kind of cool though and then you could like put like a rolling tray right here and just fill it with googan baits and then i, I dude this chair i've never yeah. seen a chair you just wait there oh buddy god you're good don't oh god it almost crushed my foot on the roll it. you don't need it jesus this chair captain's sits chair right baby here. Isn't that a crazy place to have a chair? I don't even understand why that's there. I don't either. But check out this freaking like old Buick steering wheel too. This is literally what like an old Buick would look like. Like an old donk Chevy or something. Dude, and somehow, dude, the carpet was under like a foot of dirt and it's still blue, man. Yeah, here comes Daryl. Is that Daryl? He wants an update on his trailer oh, that you probably I destroyed. See Daryl till, <laughs> till after his trailer was in the, the pond. trailer. Son of a biscuit, Daryl. Well, he's gonna have to give his input on this garbage we got going on here. You wanna see the motor? So Daryl is now coming into the scene. For those of you on my channel who don't know who Daryl is, it's Lojo's neighbor, my arch enemy, <laughs> and my, <laughs> my secret enemy. lover. Here, let me pull this thing through. Pull it. What do you think? <laughs> That's a good little picture up or right Yeah, there. yeah. It is. Something like that. Yeah, old Monarch. I had an old Monarch bass boat in 19... <laughs> my dad bought in 1972. Did you really? Wow. Sure did. We skied behind it. This is probably a similar year to that. This is probably a, maybe a late 70s or early 80s. Yeah, ours, ours didn't seem that banged up, though. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, is it going to float? That's the real question. It'll float for a little while. <laughs> All right, here's... Here's the freaking show it to kicker me. on this bad girl. Good God, it's a V8. <laughs> it's a, Look at that thing. Is that yeah, a Hemi? <laughs> you could put this thing in, in my truck and my truck would. It would run better. Probably have four wheel drive after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is something. <laughs> Jesus. It's it's a freaking hoss. Do you think there's any bringing that back? Uh, Well, I'm not a mechanic or a doctor, so I, I don't know. There also, there's a brown recluse right here with about 1,200 eggs in its oh, mouth. Oh, sweet. Just yeah. casually strolling away from you. Right. Yeah, this is going to be a whole new invasive species yeah. you're bringing to my property here. We're going to interbreed with our black widows we got here. Yeah, no kidding. So, so far we have cleaned the boat, pulled all of the crap, the, the piles of dirt, the trees, everything out of the boat that was previously built up in here over the past... 30 years now it's time to go ahead and put our money where our mouth is we've been working for the past three days to get this thing to a body of water where we could potentially test it out see if it floats see if it's worth anything it's time to go ahead dip this thing in lojo's pond see what she's made of oh god come on float buddy float no it's the front little loop is caught on the boat, on the, on the trailer. If we push it off, it'll go in the water. It'll be helpful. Oh, it's floating, baby. Let's freaking go. She looks so good, dude. I can see it now. All right, buddy. Come on in, the man. The first launch of the Monarch. The first launch of the Monarch. Oh, my. <laughs> Almost ended horrendously. Yeah, well, we're, I think uh, we might have a lot of water. Yeah, I don't know if this is from launch. I feel like I can hear water bubbling in. Is that just my imagination? Oh my God. Dude, this is not good, bro. Think, dude, we're taking on water. Yeah, we're we're like, we're actively sinking okay. right now. Let me get the bucket. Dude, we gotta start oh bucket. God. We gotta start bucket fricking. Oh God. Oh we're boy. Spilling out of the. Oh God. Frick. Okay. It was going so. Oh my God, dude, the back, the back corner is going under. No. Dude. No. <laughs> oh my God, this is getting real serious here. <laughs> Do we only have one bucket? Oh my god, dude, it's going under. The, literally, the boat's going under right now. Oh god. Bad, you're just gonna have to freaking swim for it, man. We just need to grab rods, cameras, whatever we, like, we can. Leave the, like, 
I don't know. Okay. I don't know, but we got to we got to get all the equipment out. Fast, dude. Okay, here, here, take a rod. Take a rod. <laughs> okay. Frick it, man. You're just going to have to you're going to have to swim for it, man. You're going to have I'll to swim two, for it. Oh my god. Okay, just go. Oh god. Oh no. We're freaking Oh my god. We're going down. We're going down, man. Shout out to the newest sponsor of the channel. Ow, frick. Monarch hooked me up with a sweet 17 footer. Got a mem coat on the front. Comes with spot lock, 